Okay, so here we have one of the worst levels in all of Mega Man Maker. And I thought I would take it on. It was a mistake. Through the course of this level, I felt many things. Many, many things. I felt sadness. I felt rage. I even felt happy for a little while. <laughs> but most of all, I felt fulfilled. You'll see me die many, many ways here. You'll see me die the same way many times. <laughs> and um, I think that has to do a lot with me losing my mind. You see, the, the person who made this level was a mad genius. They knew exactly what I was going to do and how I was going to do it. And they left death waiting for me there. This first section here, you'll see, uh, has the ice physics, which is great because you can't see the spikes. And then you go into this weird rocky room with a rabbit throwing carrots at you and the nets on the, the little rock pillars. There's spikes there that you can't see as well. Then you gotta jump into this bat room. And there's some Yoku blocks that aren't really that hard, but of course I made them too hard. Because that's what you do when you're losing your mind. And you just keep going at it. Trying to figure out what to do. Because what looks like should be working definitely doesn't work. So you die. And you die. And you keep dying. Slowly making progress. This, um... This level is probably one of the most masterful trolls I've seen in all of Mega Man Maker. It's something that's a little disappointing to me. Um, the fact that Mario Maker has such wonderful troll levels and Mega Man Maker... I don't know. It seems like people take it a little bit too seriously. You gotta, you gotta troll the player every once in a while. Throw him down a pit. Make him take a wrong turn. Like right there, that one ice block causes you to just skid off the edge into a masterfully placed spike. And then you're so off your game, you go back to the first screen and run into the same spikes all over again. Because you can't think. The creator's in your head. You're, you're letting them li live there rent-free. And there's nothing you can do about it. So you just keep going at it. You just keep killing the same bats. Keep jumping on the same Yoku blocks. Trying to figure out what it is this mad creator wants from you. Only they know. Only them and the, the ones that have come before you. But they aren't telling. So you, you jump in some teleporters. And then you find a giant lull made out of E-Tanks in the sky. And of course, when you see lull in a game like this, it means you're dead. You've screwed up. You've gone the wrong way. It's over. So you go back to the beginning, and you run into those same spikes again. And when you finally compose yourself and start going forward, all the while thinking, well, if it's not the lull screen, what could it be? Well, there aren't too many other options. So, you know, you jump in a pit after a health pickup that probably doesn't matter. Your brain tells you it doesn't matter. But you do it anyway. Because it has to be something. So at this point, I'm, I'm pretty well convinced 
that I've got to go down. But I'm also pretty well convinced that that's going to kill me. Because everything I've tried this far has killed me. And we've really only got four, five screens into this challenge. And, and you just get so hopelessly defeated. You don't know what to do. And when you, when you finally do just fall down, you see a boss cage. But of course, that's not it. Nope, there's death waiting for you there. Because there's death everywhere. This whole level is death. But you're trapped. You're trapped, and as much as you hate it, you learn to love it. You just... You, you live with your captor. You love your captor. It's Stockholm Syndrome. This level is Stockholm Syndrome. And you just do your best to get by. You throw yourself back in that boss cage. There's more spikes. Of course there's more spikes. So just like you predicted, the one thing that seemed like it had to work doesn't work. What could it be? There's got to be something stupid. Because <laughs> every answer so far has been something stupid. Honestly, I'd hazard to guess that most people don't even try to slide under those spikes at the beginning of the level. And uh, I guess that because even though I knew that was the answer, I continued to not do it. So... <laughs> If you try it out, you gotta let me know if you forget to do that as well. But you just uh <laughs> there's something about a level like this that just gets in your head. That just breaks you down. And it doesn't matter if you think you're one step ahead or not. Because the level creator is always just one step ahead of you. It's like they've been taking notes on all the trolls that they've run into when they play levels. And then they put it all into to one giant level. So you're back back here. Try the cage one more time. Still not the cage. Surprise, surprise. I think I thought I could come back over to the other side. I'm not quite sure I got there, but I'm also not quite sure it would work. So this kind of leaves me with one option, and um, that's to not go in the cage, to try to fall down beside it. So I, I try to make my way back there, and it's difficult because I keep dying for really dumb reasons. But that's okay, because I'm determined to beat this at this point. I don't know if I'm close. I'm probably not. In my head, I'm going to be doing this all day. But, I've got to give it a try, right? Not all of these levels are, are beatable, as you've seen in some of my other videos. Some, some creators have found ways to leave the clear condition unchecked. But, luckily, I find this boss room if you want to call it that. It is chaotic. And just when I think I've won, I don't. I, in fact, die. <laughs> because the, the thing about beating a boss is at, at a certain point, the level just turns off the gimmicks. The victory music plays, the gimmicks go off, and if there's nothing else you can do, you just fall and die. So, I need to find a safe place to be when that victory music goes off. Find a safe place to and be. I'm not quite sure how to do that. There must be a way. I'm not quite sure how to do that. 
I assume the creator left a way in there so they could upload it. It doesn't seem like a glitch level. It just seems like a really frustrating troll level. A really hilarious and frustrating troll level. So, I'm going to do my best to get back there and try it again. At least I know where the end of the level is. And I know I can get there if I can just keep my head straight and push forward. And I decide the best strategy is to do nothing. I don't know if this will work, but it does. There's a nice little lip there, so. I land, I get to do my pose, and I'm out of there. Just in time to give this level the thumbs down it so desperately wants. Thanks for watching.